Hi everyone, I am Brittany, the Cosmic Lunar Soul. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Today I have my bones with me. So we're gonna be talking about bone throwing or bone casting. So let's get started. So this is more of a video introducing you to my bones more so than giving you the full history of bone throwing. I will link some of my favorite videos about bone throwing in the description box. So feel free to check it out. So I started bone throwing um, when I got into hoodoo and connecting with my ancestors. And this was one of the methods that I chose to connect with them through. So let's talk about bone sets. Um, if you've heard of charm throwing or charm casting, it is very similar. More or less the difference is a bone throwing set will have bones. It can either be 100% bones or it can be bones and charms like mine are. So the charms in mine are anything ranging from crystals to um, animal parts that are not quite bones to things found in nature to beads to stones to anything else so why don't we go in and talk about the different things in my set what they mean and just how you guys can get started setting up your own bone throwing kit so you can see here that I have this dish. This is what I cast onto. Um, usually I will throw from one end and cast, you know, sort of straight through the long way here. <clears throat> and I will cast out of this cool bowl that I got from the Witch's Moon. I really like that everything is just sort of natural and um, of the earth. So, uh, but it really doesn't matter. So if you are the type that just likes to, you know, throw and cast, or there are the methods where you just spin it out and you see where things go. But there are so many different ways to do bone throwing. This just happens to be my way to do it. Before getting this um, wooden dish, I used this rabbit's pelt. I still keep it uh, over my altar but I don't use it to throw on very much anymore just because um, no real particular reason, but if you look at it, I'm gonna just overlay it. It is more or less the same dimension as the bowl. So nothing really changed. I just like the way the pieces move on here a little bit more. Things, ha I, it actually adds a different dimension to my throwing and I'll do like an example throw at the end of the video so you can kind of see what I mean in comparison. Let's talk about some of the bones that I have here. This is my self bone. It's commonly recommended to have a self bone, a bone that re represents oneself, whether it be yourself or the current, current, <laughs> however you say that word, whoever you're reading for. So this bone will represent the person who is asking the question. And the way that I read is the proximity of everything in reference to the self bone. So this bone is very important. This bone is representative of change or transformation. This bone is representative of st stress and anxiety. This bone is representative of health. It can be physical or mental, depending on its proximity to the self and the um, stress anxiety bone and the change bone and some of these other bones as well. This bone here is representative of fear. This is disappointment. This is like youth and vibrancy. There's like this element of happiness and just youthfulness and, and I don't know how else to explain this. This is the opposite of this. So when these come together, a lot of times this, depending where these fall in reference to the self bone or some of these other bones, it could be a sign of transitioning from one state to the other, or perhaps, you know, you're kind of flip flopping constantly between the two. You haven't found that balance yet. Let's talk about um, my animal parts that are not quite bones. So I have here the tooth. The tooth is representing something that has been around for a while. 
So for instance, uh, if this tooth lands near the fear bone, you've been dealing with a lot of fears or you've been dealing with a lot of stresses or it's been taking a while to get through this transition and this change that's going on in your life. The paw is representative of action. So it's taking some work. You're actually um, putting in some work into an action. So if this, for example, falls here. You've been really working on dealing with your anxieties and your stresses. Um, you've been putting in work for within yourself. You've been working on yourself, um, for example. And then here you've been working on your health or you know, you've been working on something and perhaps it's led to disappointment. So just for example, sometimes I will look at the position of the paw, whether it's upright or um, down. And, and we'll talk a little bit more when we go through the example reading. Here we have the claw, which is my truth bone. So, or truth claw. <laughs> So this is representative of a truth coming to light. So um, learning about some stress that's coming into your life, learning about some changes or transformations, learning about some um, health concerns, perhaps um, learning about oneself, for example. So let's talk about some of the things that come from nature, but that aren't crystals which would be here. Sorry, I'm gonna move some stuff around, reorganize. So we have a cowrie shell. Cowrie shells are very, very common in bone and charm sets. Uh, there are sets that are made up of only cowrie shells. So just for example, in my case, the cowrie shell is representative of your relationships. It could be, um, platonic it could be familial it could just be friendships but if it lands upright that means you're open to relationships or if you're close right clo um down perhaps you're a little close off the hagstone is representative of um the best way to explain it is like uh like a new world, like you're seeing things in a new light, for example. So perhaps you were disappointed about something, but you have this hagstone here and you realize like this disappointment, maybe you see it in a new light and you realize that it's not as bad as maybe what you once thought previously, for example. And then we have the acorn and I really like this because an acorn is basically the seed of a tree. So this is representative of new growth or just growth in general. So if for instance, you get this with your self bone, then you have been growing. You've been um, maybe perhaps evolving into a different, better you. Um, if you get this in combo with the truth. So maybe you have been learning a little bit more about some truths that have popped up in your life and you're starting to find more clarity there. So th that is how those can play on each other. These are my crystals that are in here. This is a clear quartz. This is an obsidian point. And then this is a, um, it looks like a moonstone with a little bit of black tourmaline just because of that flash in there so this is sort of a strengthening these are very strengthening um, crystals so this is a lot this is just in general with a little bit of protection element in there and then this is the balance so this is about finding balance, finding maybe justice, depending how uh, this plays into other things popping up. So when I say strengthening, what I mean by that is, um, for instance, let's see. So remember, this is the long lasting um, bone, but what I mean by strengthening means it amplifies and it's maybe something that I need to hone in more. So if for instance, you know, 
we have these things together who realize that this is something that's really important that's going on because we have this little um, crystal here that you've been working on some new opportunities and perhaps because this paw is down that you can finally finally reap the reward of your hard work and you can stop and relax and enjoy it um, now if the bigger crystal was in there it might be a little different um, this can also be a little bit like I said these both can kind of be a little bit about protection as well so you know everything is you're you're probably starting to see that everything is very nebulous there's a flow with the bones let's get into the metals we have a coin we have um the key and then we have this rusty nail here so the rusty nail is indicative of bad energy this could be gossip this could be curses or hexes this could just be um, your own inner saboteur, hashtag RuPaul. <laughs> um, the coin is your finances. I don't really have a preference of up or down. Sometimes when I, if I hone in on this and say the, it's, um, heads, maybe see it as maybe a little bit of luck in the financial department. The key is about, um, new opportunities that are happening so i really love when the key and the acorn pair up because it's like you're um unlocking new opportunities that will will provide a lot of growth in your life and or you're, you're growing something that is going to merge into a new opportunity for you let's look at these these are kind of like my miscellaneous shapes <laughs> The cat is representative of friendships, usually friendships or like a platonic relationship of some sort. This is representative of the spiritual side of things. So like this could be your deities or your ancestors or spirit guides, something like that. Something divine that is working for you. If you don't work with any of that stuff, um, usually what I'll do is ask. And then if you don't work with any of that stuff, it's generally what I consider to be like tapping into your intuition. You're, you're um, tapping into the spiritual, like higher self part of yourself, if that makes sense. And then this is representative of family. And you can probably see why this is ancestors, this is family, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand a little bit together so all of that together you can kind of see you can start to like paint the picture so um I did buy certain things to add to the set this was a gift this came in something and I just called I got called to put it in my set um this was part of something else that was extremely disappointing and I was like well it's going in my in my bone collection. <laughs> so, uh, this set has been pretty much how it's been since I got it. I actually purchased this as a kit. Um, and the way you can determine what bone is what is similar to if you do tarot or work with any other divination, um, any other divination form of divination, I should say, you kind of spend some time with it. So with tarot, I don't really think you need to do that, but with the bones, you kind of do. You need to determine what each piece is. And as I got this, certain things called out immediately, and then others I kind of had to sit with for a while. And then they also changed a little, like maybe I didn't fully understand as I'm practicing, didn't fully understand where they fit in. Right now, this guy here is still kind of in the being adopted into the set phase. It, it has a purpose, I just haven't fully unlocked it yet. And that's fine, that's kind of how it is. I've also bought things that just never fit into the set. For instance, I bought this. I was hoping I could add it to the set. It's just a um, crow foot and it just didn't fit in. It, 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 it might one day, or it may never fit in, and that is okay. So I'm gonna go and put everything back in the bowl and we can do a 
test reading. All right, so the way that I'm positioned, I, I would generally throw it this way, but I'm gonna step off to the side and do it this way so you can see the full picture of how everything flows. And then once I'm done, I'll turn it upright so we can, we can actually talk about it. So what I'm gonna do, this is going to be a general reading, just a general reading for the collective, and I will be right back. All right, so I'm gonna turn this this way. You notice these two popped out. So when things pop out for me, that usually means that it's something that is not currently on your mind or something you have been pushing away. And I think right now what this means is that you haven't been opening yourself up to um, relationships or just connecting with people with this shell being pushed out here, this cowrie shell. And then also perhaps you haven't really been able to find the vibrancy in your life. You haven't been able to find something that really makes you happy. And then we can kind of dive in and see what is going on, what's, what's happening. So if you look at this, this is a flow for me. And a lot of times it's based off of how everything is in reference to the south bone, but then also how they're clustered with each other. So here we have like, I would say two and a half major clusters. We have this cluster here, we have this cluster, and then we kind of have this mini cluster off of this main thing here. So if you look down here, we have the hagstone, the um, nail, and the the jawbone here. So you have some fears about some negative things that have been going on in your life. And I think even though you have this hagstone here, you're so disconnected from from yourself that it's it's really hard to see how this is really going to change, how this situation is going to change for you. So. So what I would recommend generally in a, in a reading is if this rings a bell, if somebody knows what this is about, then good. But if not, I would recommend doing a tower reading on this to figure out what is the situation and how can you get out of this situation or just so you can dive deeper. My bones really give a great overview of a situation, which is why I like to do general readings for the most part, because I can get a really good big picture and then we can dive deeper so then over here it looks like you have been working with either your ancestors maybe you know deities whoever whatever that spirituality is you've been working on you are still working on it and you have been hoping that it's going to help with some anxiety and perhaps that's where this fear circle here is coming in right so you're a little closed off here, but you are still putting some action here with this um, paw and this anxiety. So there's, there's still this level of stress, but you're you're trying to work on it. And then here we have this this change bone. This is the transition bone, and it's you're you're trying to transition from here into this. There's a little bit of connectivity, but not quite. Over here we have the. Um, growth and the balance and like I said I'm still kind of figuring this guy out here but you're finding some growth and balance perhaps in these two subjects with some friends something financial maybe you guys are working on something together and you're starting to find some balance and maybe some harmony and you know some symbiotic situation in this in this year but then also so we have this change bone this is our transition so you're transitioning you're starting to see some truths about some new opportunities that might have been pretty disappointing in the past. Maybe it was in regards to this situation, um, this financial friendship situation that is happening. It could be a sign of going into business and, and the coin doesn't always have to be financial. It could be also about school. So it could be about classmates. It could be about um, workmates, something like that. So whatever that disappointment was, you aren't you are starting to overcome it. So your self bone is on top of all of this. So you're starting to overcome whatever that, that 
disappointment and some opportunity that probably fell through is. And this is something that you've been sitting with for a while. So this energy has been sitting with you for a while. And it seems like maybe these two things have as well. The only thing is that even though you feel like you're starting to move on, because probably because of this, this thing that you aren't addressing, you're still lacking a little bit of flexibility, which I realized I didn't show off this bone. <laughs> this is my flexibility bone. And what that means is how flexible or inflexible you are being about a situation. So you're not completely weighed down, but it is blocking your path forward. And even though part of you is trying to move on from this, there's still a part that is disconnected and that doesn't have to do with this, which makes me think that maybe it's this thing. Like I said, whatever it is in this that is holding you back, which is why I would recommend a tarot reading about this. <laughs> tarot or Oracle, something that gives a little more in-depth detail. So everyone, thank you so much for watching this really quick video about my bone throwing set. I do sometimes pull um, or throw bones for some folks over on Instagram. I haven't decided yet if I will actually officially charge for these yet. If you have had my readings on Instagram with my bones and you enjoy them, let me know because I'm still a little, you know, <laughs> I, I feel like people have said that they've been good, but you know, I just still practice makes progress <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this kind of video let me know and let me know what else you would like to see if you'd like to see anything else that I didn't really think to touch on with the bones or if you'd like to see more sample readings or if you want me to incorporate bones in my live uh, divination readings on um, Fridays then comment below and let me know what you would like to see. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.